Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we are back for more Cloak and Dagger. Last episode, uh, well, it ended with Tandy. I'm pretty sure she gave up the evidence. Um, she had a bunch of money to um, the the one. What's his name? Peter. Peter something. Um, so because she found out her dad wasn't what she thought he was. Um, don't know how often he hit her mom. But the fact, I mean, he didn't seem apologetic about it, so. Uh, but still, I mean, I don't know about turning on the information, and she probably. Should, I still think she should have exposed Roxon, but she's hurt, and after all of the this hard work and, and holding her dad up in this way, it's. She feels betrayed. So she's gonna feel that for a bit. I hope. Um, she's probably gonna eventually re regret. Doing that, turning in the the information to the to that guy. Uh, I hope it doesn't come back to to what's it to Ivan and his daughter Mina, because that would then she definitely would feel guilty about that. I don't know if her dad would just die or if, it, or if both of them would. I don't think it would come back to to Ivan. I don't believe he has any information because he, he he I know he came to him early before, and you know. The fact that he didn't remember anything helped, or he told them that he didn't remember anything. For the most part, he's right, but there was some bit that he didn't tell him. Um, hopefully, that'll keep him, keep the guy from from Roxanne in general to come after them. Um, Tyrone was able to to uh, get Connors to confess. Unfortunately, he also saw O'Reilly and her boyfriend. I forgot his name and I feel really bad about it. Because then he was killed. Connors had somebody kill him and stuff him in his fridge or her fridge. I don't know who, whose place it was exactly. Such a bull crap. He has to... Man, I felt so bad for her because she was happy. And I, I think that they had just established their relationship last episode. I don't think Connors can be let go because he literally confessed to shooting... Billy, so I don't know if he has other stuff. Like if he has, I don't think he can make a deal on that. So I don't know how corrupt. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I'm hoping he doesn't get out of it. I don't think he will, but who knows? Um, ugh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen from here. So let's just start the episode. Oh, she's doing the thing. The Roxanne. Not a coincidence that she's there. Her powers are too powerful. Maybe not powerful enough. Maybe. Ah. The detective is suspended, pending further investigation. And after that. That's it. It depends on our findings. We've heard that song before. There are eyes on these situations that weren't there before. All these years I was right. Billy was exactly who I said he was. My brother was a hero. I don't need you to tell me who Billy was. Don't you just... Come on. Just get in the car. I'm sure you got some schoolwork. Schoolwork? Who the hell cares about schoolwork? Watch your mouth! Get in the car. We will talk about this later. Oh, she's gonna take the figure to him or what? No oh, boy. Things are not good for them. Hey, Stan Lee! I can steal them. Oh. And feel them. Jesus. And have them all for myself. And they don't do as they Demons, they visit in the night, cut the light, stabbed in the back with a knife. Oh, Tyrone. Oh, no, they're both about to blow up. You think I'm fighting the war that's over? I hurt you. Since the night Billy died, you've been fighting. To keep your anger in check. To control your pain. The war is over, but the battle still rages. Who's gonna die in that one? I wanna offer you a job at Roxxon. I'm sorry? Look, our department's expanding. 
I know you're smart, capable. And to be honest, any daughter of Nathan Bowen is as good as hired in my book. What are you taking? Minus two? Don't take hers. Tandy, what are you doing? Better, Tyrone. Can they? They would if you let them. Really? Because I'm pretty sure that even though I've got what I wanted, nothing is better. That's because you've defined yourself by the worst thing that's ever happened to you. I think you live in a sacred box alone, protected. Pretending that you feel this presence of God, but in fact, you really put yourself here so you don't have to feel anything. Church isn't somewhere I came to hide. It's where I found answers. Tyrone. Do you think you or whatever you think this God is has answers for me? You have no idea what I've been through. You don't know me. And neither does your God because he doesn't exist. Tyrone, move. You walk out that door without permission, and there's nothing that I can do to stop I said move! No, not until you. for me. Thank you. The Fuchs. It's a damn tragedy that he got involved with the wrong people. Kick him. Justice feeling now, New York. You really think your inadmissible YouTube videos would keep me behind bars? Guy, are you freaking kidding me? Stay down too long. You and me ain't finished yet. Whiskey, nice and cold. Are they with him too, or something? Tandy, what are you- Stay out of my head. You really think I want to be in there? Obviously you do. Hey. Strangely aggressive tiny girl. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was having a pretty awful day, so maybe you can yell at him another time. Can you just stay out of this? Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh oh Tandy, you don't you- get the hell out of here. Tandy! For real? God! <sighs> Snap out of it, Tandy! Tyrone? Help! No! Whoa! How did you? It's you. If you don't hurt, you get hurt. That's not how I see it. You will if you ever grow up. And learn there is nothing you can do to bring your big bro back. Well, excuse me if I don't take wellness advice from the Bowen family. Screw you, Tyrone! I'll see you in your dreams. 
The money's gone too, isn't it? <sighs> he ransacked it. That's what that was. I don't know. The heat just started spiking. Okay, I said I'll fix it. <sighs> Come on. Great. Dan. Hey, you guys. It's probably safest if you step <laughs> Oh, okay? Get away! Run, Mina! Run! The, the terrors! Come! <laughs> Somebody, come on! Where are they? If you were telling the truth, then that meant a cop murdered a teenage boy and covered up the crime. And the only way to do that means that he had help doing it. A lot of help. And what you did? I had backup. We got him on tape. You had a white cop. On tape, confessing to killing a black kid. Have you been paying attention, Tyrone? Because in the world that we live in, that means absolutely nothing. So I should just what? Throw my hands up and give up? Is that what you're saying? You put yourself in their crosshairs again. Someone has to. Watch your mouth. Pull your pants up. Take your hoodie down. When does it end? We got all sorts of rules, but you said it best. Even if I do everything perfect, they still could come after me. I couldn't walk away. No matter what it cost, I couldn't. You are here. Okay. Billy is dead, so... You have to let it go. Stop letting all of it. The guilt. The regret. The fear. I'm not sure who I am without it. I know who you are. Who inspires me. Whoops, as much as it scares the shit out of me. Uh... Tyrone Johnson! You are under arrest for the murder of the oh, Go! 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 hits the road and that tire blows Two. we will ask ourselves the question at the center of all myth one who are we of course faking of course <sighs> a new tyrone shouldn't have shown his face and they shouldn't have all exposed themselves to Connors at that at last episode. Now he framed Tyrone. It's making me so mad. <laughs> uh, you ever get really really mad when you're like you actually bring yourself to tearing up almost. <laughs> Feeling that right about now. I was getting so mad hearing Tyrone's mom talk about what they would have to go through. Because I kept picturing Connors and the cop that covered for him behind, and and whoever else was backing him up. The cause of her, of her pain and just her fear for. <sighs> I said at the beginning, if he's let go, I'm gonna be pissed. Boy. I mean, he's not necessarily let go. He's suspended, but he's not put away. A straight up confession should have. But under duress, does that. I don't know if that means anything. I don't. But he was, they weren't torturing him. He wasn't like. And now her mom, his mom's gonna have to go through all this. Just. She was terrified for him, just. Normal. Like, just being. Like, if he were to be the perfect person and not give them any reason to go after him. She was still terrified. Now this has to happen. And they, they come in full-blown. Just 
breaking in and everything. They don't... Oh, my God. And unfortunately, Tyrone is also shot at Connor, so he could probably tell him that, too. Even if he didn't, he would tell him that anyway, and they would buy it. And then Tandy's got to deal with the assassin at, at her place with him. I thought she'd already killed her mom, but no, she had her hostage. So I, And either Tandy's going to step out to try to save her mom, or she's not. I know they cut to give us that. I'm pretty sure Tandy would. Like she wouldn't let her mom die like that. I know. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. I'm 80% I'm sure that she won't. Because she, she came to a realization at the end. Like they both kind of did. More so her. He was more so coming to a different realization that he needs to take a stand. And that he can't <clears throat> keep pretending. He can't let let it go. He can't just let what Connor did slide. Um, and they're both in very, very real danger. Very real immediate danger. Tyrone's going to be chased because of Connor's. Tandy's going to be... I, I knew... Like, who I would... Why would... Whatever... Or her. The douchebag. I don't remember. The guy that she paid, that Tandy paid. Why would he just let her go? Whether she gave her the... Whether, you know, he made an agreement or not. He gave her the money, but that doesn't mean he's going to let her live. I know Tandy wasn't, I, you can't think clearly, it's not easy to think clearly when you find out that crap about your dad after you've had this thought of him for so long, but it's just like, and then she was taking people's hopes, basically being a, it's basically almost like a drug, or it was either that or she was just taking a satisfaction in making them hollow almost, and then when she did that to Liam, I don't know if she was able to, it seemed like whenever she broke the kiss, whenever Tyrone like butted in and broke her connection with with uh with Liam um I don't, he looked like me well he looked like any, everybody else was whenever she stole their hope so that's probably what I mean that's probably why he ransacked her place and found the money he didn't one he felt lesser and thought that there wasn't any hope for them to get married no pun intended but that's just you know that was you know he didn't he didn't have any he didn't think that was possible it's because she took that from him and then to Mina like Mina and Liam why like I mean I I'm not saying she should have taken like she had any kind of right to take the other guys whoever went the guy he was she was conning um but I mean he his hope was kind of shallow and I don't know how that'll affect him in any way but still like Mina is a good person like she's treated him with nothing but kindness with her with nothing but kindness and she repays her by taking her hope and I know they was talking about you know when the hero meets some like finds something or a, someone's lost and then they go through this regression and you know there's the rise and the fall but st like and I understand Tandy what she's going through, but it still is frustrating and, and pisses me off what she's doing. And Liam was a good guy. Liam also is a good person. Like freaking, he took out all his money to give her a new life so that she could leave and not be not have to worry about the guy that was she was worried about uh, having her basically get tell the cops false story and having her arrested. And then she leaves him, and then he, he still, he still had hope that she would, like, what, whenever she went into his, into his, into his hopes, she still, he still had that hope of them being together. And that bit with Evita, first off, <laughs> calling her a uh, aggressive little short person or whatever she said, um, I thought just like, okay, well, this is going. To, I thought she was going to be more like, I, for, when they when she first showed up, I was worried that she might get jealous. But then she's saying, you know, the fact that don't yell at him right now because, you know, he's kind of having a terrible day. So maybe find another time to do this if you have to do this. And then Tandy's, you know, being Tandy at, at this moment. And she feels like she should steal this girl's hope too because she's getting away. And then she fights it. Which was interesting. It's probably because of the her practices and everything with her aunt. But I just didn't expect that. That was impressive and good because she didn't take it from Tandy but now she know, she she also re recognizes who Tandy is like not obviously not in the sense of that hey she knows recognizes Tandy but obviously 
the fact that she's the she's the other person that Tyrone needed to meet to battle whatever the heck is going on. Which pretty sure is supposed to be the pipes exploding citywide and causing the terrors everywhere. Ah, so that's going to be good. That's going to be great. So man, I don't know if like she's supposed to, is that like a protective ring she's doing or is it just like to mark the danger? Is it because obviously the mark to that what last one she, that they showed her placing was next to the, uh, the rocks on pipe. So I'm guessing it's either yeah a marker or it's supposed to ward or help protect maybe bring maybe you help maybe you could I don't know what it could do if it was a if it was a protective thing from her aunt maybe you could make Tyrone and Tandy stronger in that circle or something I don't know I wonder if she's gonna tell her aunt or if she already told her aunt she was carving Tandy out in a white it looked like wax um so I'm wondering if she's gonna either tell her aunt if she's already told her aunt and show her I wonder if her aunt's still sleeping I mean, she was apparently all out all night, I'm guessing. But yeah, with the priest, I'm wondering if that was a, like his kid or if it was somebody else. Like, like, I know there was a soccer ball, so I mean, that's what I'm thinking. It's just a, it's just a, uh, somebody else's kid that he hit, killed, and he, that's, that's ailing him. Like, he's riddled with that guilt. Um, the only reason I was wondering if it's that made me think that maybe it was his kid was because the window was open like somebody had thrown out. But it was like right in front of him, so I don't know how that would have worked. So I think it might be just somebody else's kid. But still, like it's it's terrible, and he's obviously had that for, and he's been holding on to that. And then Tyrone kind of bring that to the forefront. He took a swing at a priest, and he also beat up that one kid that was a douchebag. Totally deserved that. I don't. I, I'm. Don't. I don't. What would that what would that kid do? Did he like bump into him or something? I don't. Was he getting on him for you know when they lost the 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 championship or whatever it was? He just bumped him to him, so he gave him a problem with that. I guess like, what's what's the matter with you, dude? That was weird. Okay, <laughs> he just punk. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he beat the heck out of him, which I'm kind of happy about because <laughs> he deserved it. But I mean, he shouldn't have done that because he's kind of got in trouble for that. But I mean, that kid had it coming. He freaking he had 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 somebody up some other people beat Tyrone like gang up on him but speaking of being beat on Connors that son of a oh freaking he they nobody did anything they were they pulled her off of him but when he was just wailing on her kick like he kicked her countless times it was they did nothing are they all bad like what like I mean like are they all with him are they corrupt as well or whatever what was that? They did nothing to help her at all. And, and like, one, it was, I mean, I, yeah, okay, they don't have, I guess, anything on him now because he was, just because he was suspended. But the fact that he was suspended and that he was caught confessing, that should, uh, I thought at least, at least some of these cops would just not be with him on that unless they have some affiliation with him in other regards. I don't know. I just, that was, oh my god. So Connors is going to be more of a problem than than we thought. And now he's going to be going after them hard. As evident by now Tyrone's having to be on the run. Oh god, his poor mom. She was already in this state. You know, she's, she's crying over, you know, Tyrone. And the fact that he's put a more, <coughs> put a crosshair on himself again. And the fact that this guy killed her other son and then these guys show up and the, the dad like what is he gonna like how is I can't I can't imagine how he's gonna like how he's gonna handle it like he knows Tyrone's not guilty of whatever the heck happened because they don't well they don't know well they, they said you know why he's why they're there I think that's about everything I wanted to talk about <laughs> uh God, I'm so. Oh my God. <laughs> this stupid douche of a cop. And the next episode is the finale for this season. I guess I should have realized that, or had an inkling at least that this would be 
you know, this would get things started, get things, or the things would heat up at this point. It's usually how shows go. If, like, if it, in the penultimate, things get crazy, and then they come to a conclusion in the, in the finale, obviously. I don't know how the finale is going to go. I don't know if it's going to end on a good note or not, or more like leaning towards like something that's obviously going to have something that leads to the next season. But I, I really, really want Connors to get. If he isn't arrested, something has to happen. Not to where Tyrone does it, but something has to happen to where he dies. Like something kills him. Like it, it like an explosion kills him or something. I don't know. And then now that like although the I don't I don't know how like where the was it just there that the explosion happened? I'm hoping Mina got away. I really hope Mina got away. And then we have to deal with Tyrone's Tandy and Tyrone's crap. God dang it. Tandy needs help, or Tandy can throw her dagger, but she needs to get a clean shot without um, hitting her mom. I don't I mean she, she the, the assassin has her, a, you know, to the side at least from Candy's point of view, because she doesn't, you know, she she sees that she doesn't have a weapon, so there's nothing she could really do that she knows of, that she doesn't think she has a weapon. She knows that she doesn't have a gun on her. She she, she just doesn't know about Tandy's ability, so she, well, which is weird, because uh. Peter, you would think of, or I think his name was Peter. The, the, they got Scar, Scarborough, Scarborough. Is that his name? That you think he would have sent? He told her this information that he saw, her, you know, use a dagger or whatever, create like a knife. Did he? Did she create it in front of him? I don't remember. I don't think. He, I don't think he at least saw her create it. Like she wouldn't have it, and then one moment she would have it. Maybe he didn't see her. Like, it like actually appeared in her hand. I don't know. But. There's that, and then Tyrone's, you know, obviously gonna run to the cops. I don't know where he's gonna go. He could just, he wasn't able to get the cloak, which helps him with abilities. I don't know how, how well he can teleport without the cloak right now. This is just, this is just so much, just anger. Well, guys, that is it for this week's episode for Cloak and Dagger. I have to wait till next week to watch it. I'm really tempted to watch the next one, but if you want to check out the rest of our stuff, join me with the button right next to me. If you want to stick around for next week's episode, the finale for the season, go ahead and click the bell icon, or go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when that comes out, and other stuff, go ahead and click the bell icon down below. Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next week.